Thank you so much, everybody, for making it here tonight. Um, thank you for coming out to celebrate uh, the publication of Ronaldo Wilson's Poems of the Black Object by Feature Poem. Welcome, Jerome, one of the editors. <laughs> um, I want to give a big thanks out to uh, teachers and writers, um, and Amy Swagger, I hope I pronounced her name right, um, for their incredibly generous uh, welcoming us to this space and hosting numerous feature poem book parties. And um, um, some of you are familiar with the old space teachers and writers had in Union Square, and this is a really wonderful space too, and they do great work. So um, thanks to teachers and writers. Um, I wanted to thank Amy. Amy, how do I pronounce your last name correctly? Soka. Soka? Soka. Um, Amy is our amazing intern this semester, um, and she really helped um, all the final touches with um, preparing for this party and lots of other stuff um, this, this fall. So I wanted to give her a big thanks. She's the person at the book table. And, um, Hannah Holtzman was our former intern, and she did a lot of stuff for Ronaldo's book as well. So, um, and as well as Peter Hall, I don't know if Peter's still here, but um, he was um, doing a lot of work on behalf of the press this year as well. Um, I want to give particular thanks to our future poem guest editors that selected Ronaldo's book. Uh, Francis Richard is reading tonight. Jerome Sala, who. Um, we just mentioned, and Tom Lane, who couldn't join us because he's teaching this evening, but might join us a little later. Um, and I think Future Poems' unique model of rotating editor decision, ma decision making is one of the things that makes us unique as a press and brings such a wonderful array of groundbreaking work into the Future Poem series. And none of this would be possible without the dedication, and I mean countless hours of reading. Um, by editors like Francis, Jerome, and Tan, and I sincerely express my thanks to them. So I'm really glad that um, Jerome and Francis were able to make it tonight. And, you know. and Jeremy Mickel, who's in, um, who designed the wonderful cover for Magic. He's uh, peering into us from Providence, Rhode Island. Um, and then thanks to, uh, I wanted to thank the people who provided uh, wonderful quotes for Ronaldo's book. Wayne Kostenbaum is here with us tonight, Claudia Keelan, Erica Hunt, G. Patterson, and Tisa Bryant. Uh, Marie LeClaire, who's video videoing us um, generously tonight, and Wendy Weitzel um, are documenting this evening, so I wanted to thank them. Um, and we have Future Pump this year was started out, Future Pump started out in 2002 as just me and a designer um, on a whim starting a, a, as a crazy dream to start a poetry small press. Um, and this year we officially are not for profit organization with the board of directors. So, um, <laughs> Jeremy Sigler and Monica De La Torre, as well as myself, um, starting out. So we're working closely to, to expand our programs and get funding and do all those things that a nonprofit needs to do. Um, I want to thank Serena Yost, who's uh, my partner and who puts up with the books in the apartment and <laughs> gives un, un, um, swaying support to all the projects. So. Um, and um, I just wanted to say a few things about Ronaldo's book this evening. Um, I want to say how thrilled I am about having Ronaldo's Poems of the Black Object as part of the Future Poem series. I am both appreciative and somewhat in awe as a writer and publisher about what Ronaldo has been able to accomplish in this book. He is simply never afraid to go to the place of raw honesty, but somehow manages to do its slant somehow manages to carry us there and captivate us with the intricacies and unflinching brilliance of this language. I think what most impresses me about Ronaldo's writing, and in particular the writing in Poems of the Black Object, is its refusal to be pigeonholed into any specific dichotomy. 
whether that is the subject-object opposition, the lyric versus the interruption of the lyric with critical discourse, the work on the page versus performance, the low and the high, the building up of the subject versus breaking of the object, race and sexuality as undeniable facts, and the poem as a seed through which the question of identity is constantly filtered, reframed, and problematized. In the future poem tradition, we will have three distinguished guest writers read selections from, from the book, and then Ronaldo will read from the work as well. And this evening, our guests are, um, and I really appreciate they could join us, are Mina Alexander, Wayne Custombaum, and Frances Richard. And Frances is going to read first. Um, and she, she's one of the editors, so I think it's fitting. So please welcome Frances Richard. Thank you. 